Hey test takers, before us is a question from the reading and writing test. Let's take it on. A 2019 study published in Nature, Ecology, and Evolution looked at data from more than 1,500 species of birds, mammals, and fish in order to determine whether their rate of evolutionary change was linked to species survival. The study found that while some species did evolve faster than others, there was no clear relationship between evolutionary rate and survival. Instead, the researchers concluded that in many cases, a species can thrive as long as it is able to remain as good as, or just a little bit better, than more quickly evolving competitors. Okay, which finding, if true, would most directly support the researcher's conclusion? Okay, so we have to find the choice that supports the conclusion. That means I have to really understand the argument being made and pull evidence from the text to support that conclusion. We need to understand what the conclusion is. So let's summarize. Um, what is the study about? Uh, whether or not the rate of evolutionary change was linked to species survival. And what do they find? No clear relationship, right? And so their conclusion, there's the word conclusion, their conclusion is that a species can thrive as long as it is able to remain as good as, or just a little bit better, than faster evolving competitors. So all it takes to survive is to keep up with your competitors rather than outchange them, even if your competitors change faster than you. Okay, so which finding supports that argument? What supports you don't need to change faster than your competitors to stay competitive? That's what I'm gonna test against the choices. So choice A, endangered and extinct species displayed a significantly slower evolutionary rate uh, than other species. That doesn't support the argument, right? That's saying slow change equals death, not stay competitive without faster than faster change than others. So that's that's no good. Choice B, evolutionary rate only impacted species survival when adaptations were linked to environmental pressures. This is besides the point. Uh, we already know the study argues there's no clear relationship between evolutionary change and evolutionary change rate and species survival, but that's also not uh, what we need to find support for. This is outside the scope of what we're looking for. Choice C, uh, successful species tended to remain more successful than their competitors over time, regardless of evolutionary rate. Yeah, uh, this is what we want, right? Um, this is saying evolutionary rate doesn't matter so long as you can outcompete other species. Circle that. That, that that's our answer. Let's uh, let's see if choice D is any better. I feel very confident about C. Uh, choice D: invasive species that overtook competitors tended to exhibit a higher evolutionary rate than other species. Yeah, uh, this supports a different argument, like an argument that says higher evolutionary rates make you more competitive, which is the opposite of our conclusion right? You can be just as good. And that's enough, right? That's enough to thrive. So because we know there is no clear relationship between evolutionary rate and survival from the study, we can say, no, thank you. This is not our answer. You got to stay on target for questions like these. Answer choices like B sound plausible, but they're straying from the question. They're straying from the thing being asked about. All right. Good luck out there. You've got this.